Prince Charles' hopes of succeeding the Queen as monarch have been dealt a blow after the publication of a poll suggesting almost half the British public believe he should step aside in favor of son Prince William when the time comes. But royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams has dismissed its findings as pure mischief, and took the opportunity to emphasize Britain's hereditary monarchy. Research published by BMG Today suggested 46% of those surveyed thought the crown should pass directly to William almost double the number who felt Charles should succeed her. And just one in five, 20%, believe his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, should be handed the title of Queen even the Prince of Wales does get the nod, according to the poll, commissioned by the Independent. Charles is the longest-serving heir apparent in British history having been first in line ever since his grandfather George VI died in 1952, when Charles was just three, meaning he has been waiting for 67 years. The 70-year-old has made no secret of his desire to be king after 92-year-old Queen Elizabeth II, and spoke out last year in a bid to assuage concerns about his approach should he get his wish. Charles has spoken out about politics and the environment over the years, raising the prospect of awkward clashes with politicians, but in a BBC documentary aired last year to mark his 70th birthday, he said the idea of him making similar interventions after being king was nonsense. Pressed about whether his public campaigning would continue, he said, No, it won't. I'm not that stupid. However, he also said, if it's meddling to worry about the inner cities as I did 40 years ago, then if that's meddling I'm proud of it. The fact he was confirmed as the designated successor to the Queen as head of the Commonwealth also indicates his intention to be the British monarch. Significantly more of the 1,500 people polled said they believed Charles, 70, should abdicate than believed he should become king. In total, 27% voiced strong support to pass the crown directly to William, with another 19% saying they would somewhat support such a plan. By contrast, just 13% were strongly opposed, with another 11% somewhat opposed. Slightly less than one-third, 29%, had no view one way or the other. The idea of Charles stepping out of the way was particularly popular with young people between the ages of 18 and 24, among whom a third of respondents were strongly supportive. By contrast, Camilla appears to be least popular with the older generations, with 62% of people aged 65 and over not wanting her to be given the title of queen. The poll also reveals a sizable minority of people believe the royal family should be self-financing, rather than relying on public money. Slightly more, 38%, felt they should receive taxpayer funding, but 35% thought they should fund themselves. Just 12% thought all royals, irrespective of whether they were in the immediate line of succession, should benefit from taxpayers' cash. The online poll involved a representative sample of 1,508 gigabytes adults, with adults conducted between December 4 and 7. Mr. Fit Williams, the former editor of International Who's Who, was unimpressed with the survey, telling Express.co.uk. We have a hereditary monarchy so the line of succession is fixed and does not skip a generation. It obviously is not influenced by opinion polls. This poll is pure mischief as those responsible for it and those publicizing its findings know perfectly well. Speaking last month, royal author Robert Johnson said the Queen will never abdicate in favor of her son, although she is handing over some of her royal duties to him. Mr. Jobson who has written a biography of Charles, told Express.co.uk, the Queen has been there since the days of Churchill so I think everybody realizes she has done a terrific job. She won't abdicate but she will hand over responsibility to the Prince of Wales. He also warned, a lot of people say the Queen will be a tough act to follow but he is going to be quite a tough act to follow as Prince of Wales in my opinion.